my friends. Welcome to another exciting episode of Hunting Rocks. As always, I am your hunting guide, Jeff, and I am still out in the southern area. Well, I guess it's not really southern Arizona. It's more like the eastern middle part of Arizona. I'm near a place called Bullhead City. Oatman, Arizona is right up the road. I'm near Kingman. Eh, you can find it on a map. But anyhow, still got one day here left, and then I'm headed to Holbrook, where you guys will see a Petrified Wood video coming up. But I decided, what the heck, it's my last day. Didn't really have anything going on. Let's go for another creek walk through some BLM. I say creek walk, it's not really a creek, it's a dry wash. So what I got with me today, my gloves, my hat, a little bit of sunscreen, and I've got five bottles of water. Now, when I get down to two and a half bottles of water, I'm going to turn around and head back because it gets hot out here. And uh, the last thing I want to do is dehydrate and you guys find my bleach bones somewhere over there. Anywho, that's enough chatting. Let's get down to this wash. Let's see if we can find anything cool. We may, we may not. Who knows? On the ground here, you'll see a lot of volcanic rock. That's because throughout this area, there were a lot of volcanoes. In fact, over by... Uh, um, Quest of mine where I was digging the fire agates, they at one point actually had a vent that would shoot fire and magma and all that crazy kind of stuff. So this area is very volcanic in nature. As you can see through a lot of these lava rocks. And of course, you know, they've also been weathered. But yeah, this whole area... A few million years ago, it was a whole lot hotter than it is today. I also want to keep my eyes open for wildlife out here. Um, of course, there will be the burros, the donkeys, which we'll see when we go through Oatman. I will stop and show you guys some because they're super cute. But uh, rattlesnakes, scorpions, you know, all that good desert jazz. Hello, Mr. Lizard. Get yourself in the shade, buddy. It's a little warm. All right, we made it to the wash. They've had a lot of rain here with everything still being green. Let's uh, see if we can find any goodies down here. Something interesting. Just like walking the creeks back home, only a lot hotter and a lot drier. And a lot more burrow poop. That's a cool looking piece of lava rock. You know what? I think I'm gonna take this. Well, what have we here? Check it out, guys. That could be a fire agate. What I mined earlier this week. We should be able to find quite a bit of this down here, hopefully. So this is gonna go in the bag. My, of course, lava rock's gonna go in the bag. And, uh, We'll keep walking. Hello, Mr. Lizard. I see you sitting right there. Well, just a couple feet from the lizard, and it looks like somebody left me a love note. Look at that. That's beautiful. What we got over here? Yeah, you know what? I'll throw those in the bag. Unless the lizard did that. You gotta watch those lizards. They are sneaky. What we got here? This might be something. Dust that off a little bit. Tell you what, let me uh, let me bust on this a second. I think this might be something that I want. Well, I'm not sure what's going on in there, but it's kind of pretty. I think uh, I think I'll take these two pieces. Not this one. That one's too big. I think I'll take these two pieces here, and uh, I'll leave that for someone. I think they might like it. Well, this got really rocky really fast. This is a, a little bit better looking spot than uh, when I was doing the uh, turquoise yesterday. So this is pretty cool. Of course, more rocks means more probability of snakes. So have to be careful about that. Last thing I want to do is get bit while I'm out here. 
there's good hospitals but uh i'm a distance from them guys check out the size of this concretion this is not actual concrete this is a rock that is made of hundreds and hundreds of other rocks this thing has been forming for a long long time so is its partner there and here they sit in this dry wash that's really cool all right gotta watch myself in the shady area that's where the snakes like to go as it warms up but i should be okay i hope i can catch one on camera that'd be really cool i've never seen a rattlesnake in the wild well that's not true i've seen them but uh I've been in my car so I didn't get to see it up close check that out guys let me uh you know what let me let me throw on a glove before I stick my fingers down there check it out guys it's a fire agate I don't know if it's got any fire in it but that is very pretty glad I decided to walk this creek today all right sorry guys from the west dry wash I'm a midwestern boy we have creeks you guys have washes and i guarantee you when it rains this place is a raging river holy cow i would not want to be down here i got a couple little wispy clouds in the sky but luckily no rain clouds so there are rain clouds i would not be down here oh what do we got here that's got some fire agate in it i'll go in the bag I've been told, I don't know if it's true or not, because it's just stories I've been told, but I've been told there's a possibility that I can find amethyst down here. <coughs> Excuse me. And grape agate. And if I find amethyst and grape agate, whew, happy day, happy day. I'm already pretty happy with how it's going. And there's another piece just sitting. This one... I don't think we'll have any fire to it, but once that's polished up, it'll be pretty. That's the nice thing. This is another free spot, so it costs nothing to come out here. Well, that's not true. I mean, for me, it costs because I do a whole bunch of other mining and gas and stuff. But uh, otherwise, if you're local or you're just passing through and you need a break, come out here and check these out. Just make sure you're not on anybody's property. BLM land allows you to pick up 25 pounds a day. Which if I pick up 25 pounds in my pack, I'll be sadly mistaken on this walk back. Huh. <laughs> More fire I get. That piece has got fire in it. Awesome. Um, I will say gas on the Arizona side is much cheaper than the Nevada side by about a dollar. I paid three forty-five, I think it was, in Arizona, and it was four fifty-four over in Nevada. So, little heads up if you guys are watching this video, save yourself a dollar a gallon. There's a little, uh, I don't know what that is. Hmm, probably just a piece of quartz. Whatever. And I think it's time for me to sit down. Oh, hold on. That's some fire agate right there. I think it's time for me to have myself a bottle of water. So I'm going to drink up and I'll be back to you guys. Well, guys, it's definitely over my 25 pound limit. <laughs> Maybe this could be my and a rock, but this guy is full of fire agate. This rock also probably weighs 500 pounds, give or take. I always get sad when I see a big rock I want and can't take it, but that's alright. It'll break up over time. Maybe in a few dozen years I'll come out here and it'll only weigh 300 pounds.
And that rock has it on it too. Ooh, this is neat. Check this out. This is where the water has washed over years and years and years. And it's opened up this wall of just nothing but rock. All right, you guys have seen enough of that. Let's find some good stuff. I swear it's like some kind of game. I put my phone away and then I see something like that. <laughs> oh, okay, in the bag you go. Let's keep looking. All right, snakes are one thing. A swarm of bees is something else, especially here in Arizona where I'm at. Uh, I was gonna go check out another side of the creek but, well, let me, let me show you on camera. So that pretty yellow tree there is just buzzing with bees. Now, there are killer bees in Arizona. I don't want to mess with them. So, uh, I'll just leave that one be. <laughs> There's a nice one right there in the matrix. Over there, too. I should be able to break this part off right here yeah let me see if i can break that off and throw that in my bag i'll be right back all right there we go shrunk it down to manageable size yep that's going in the bag all right guys i just flipped this over with my hammer and that has got some fire in it it's not big but that piece right there under my thumb let me try to get that in the sunlight yeah that's a good piece all right Come on, little buddy. I'll take you to a to a cooler climate. You don't have to sweat so much out here under the desert sun. If you got any friends around you want to go with, let me know. I'll pick them up too. Yeah, I talk to my rocks. It may sound crazy, but I'm pretty sure everything is alive. Just rocks talk a lot slower than people do. You gotta listen close to them. And of course, be patient. Oh. That is flipping awesome, and it's got color too. Yo, oh, buddy. Guess what, guys? You're looking at the thumbnail. In fact, I'm gonna set it down right here put a little water on it so it sparkles nicely and you guys can see how i do a thumbnail look at that it's got color right through there that'll polish down nice that's a big old man that's a big fire get off me bug I'm video in here all right picture time this looks like we're coming up on another gravel pile so we'll keep our eyes peeled this this wash has been really good for gravel the one I was in yesterday was mostly sand. This one, I keep hitting these gravel piles and it's, it's pretty awesome. Tell you what, I'm gonna look at this real quick. Yeah, nope. Okay, I'm gonna walk up to that next wall there. I'm going to come back and check this out up to that tree, then I'm going to head back. And there's another piece that's just too dang big to carry. And it's pretty well concreted into the wall. The stuff out here, once it sets and it gets wet and then dries and gets wet and it dries and it gets wet and it dries, it becomes some of the hardest material you will ever deal with. That's no joke. Ah, taking a rest under the shade tree here. Feels real nice. Temperature's about 10 degrees cooler under here. You cannot beat that with a stick. Well, I've reached the area where I'm going to turn around at. So, I'm going to take a little break here, drink some water, and uh, then I'm going to head on down, back that way, check out that little side I said I would, and then make my way back up to the truck, and then... I'm probably going to stop in Oatman, Arizona for a nice cool drink or so. So I just threw my bag down and I bent down 
And look what the burrow tree gave me. Huh. Awesome. Throw that in the bag. Grab some water. And then back I go, guys. Back into the sun. Looks like we got ourselves something right here. What do we got? What? There we got. Oh, a piece that's stuck. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get it out. Let's see if I can get it out without breaking it. It's coming. There we go. Ooh, look at the agonization on that. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. All right. I'm at that side creek now. I'm cruising back a little faster than I cruise down because it's starting to get warm. Get a little hot. And apparently one of my water bottles has a leak in it, which is both bad and good. Feels good on my back. Piece of uh, quartz. It's, uh, it's actually, oh, I can't think of the name of it. Uh, Chalcedony. It's the stuff that makes up these uh, fire agates, which is a type of quartz. It's, you know, it's crypto crystal. And so super packed together. Whereas like your Arkansas is just one big piece of quartz. Crypto crystal and stuff is many, many, many little points that have all grown together. And it is super, super strong. Hard to cut. It actually is a little higher on the Mohs hardness table than regular quartz and uh, I've learned this the hard way trying to cut it before so a piece of quartz flies right through crypto crystal and stuff yeah it takes a bit all right I saw that piece not seeing much here I'm gonna turn around here walk into the breeze hopefully it's not too windy for you guys and start making my way back of course keeping my eyes to the ground and when I find something cool, you know I'll show you. Well, here you go. Something interesting. Um, you got your chalcedony there with a white coating on top, which I believe is also chalcedony. I could be wrong, but uh, I'm gonna take this one. If anything, this should polish up and look really pretty. Guys, legit, not even five steps away, I just came across this. Oh, that's got color. That's a beauty yes all right you'll go in the backpack my friend along with the other one i didn't even get a chance to put that one up yet and that was just sitting there god this is kind of rock hounding i love doing just just walking a creek don't get me wrong i love the mining part and i found way better stuff at the mine but to be able to do this is just so much fun so much fun all right, you guys, I've been kind of in a hurry getting back, but uh, I just found an ancient, ancient Atari cartridge. I don't know what game this was. I don't think it'll work anymore. Tell you what, I'm going to get in the shade. I'm going to pop it open. And let's see if we can figure out. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to take all the dirt out of it. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to pop it open. Okay, well, I got it open. I'm not sure what game it is. I'm going to look it up. Hopefully I can figure it out. And don't worry, I'm not leaving it here. I'm going to take it with me because it's garbage and I'll get it out of the, get it out of the desert. All right, my friends, I made it back to my truck. Whew, a little warm. Let's head into Oatman. Uh, show you guys some burrows. Maybe grab a cold soda or something. If you guys are interested in seeing the burrows, then just wait a minute. If not, go ahead and skip ahead, I don't know, maybe two, three minutes and you can see me back at home. There they are, guys. The true stars of Oakman, Arizona. The amazing burrows. They see I got a bag, so they're coming over. Sorry, guys. I don't got no food for you. But you sure are nice. <laughs> Hi there, buddy. I'm sorry. I ain't got no food for you. I ain't got no food for you. Yeah, I'm sorry. So those guys are left over from the days when they were, uh, they shut down the gold mines. They asked them, they said, well, what should we do with our burrows? And they said, just let them go. And they did. And now they live in the wonderful town of Oatman. And you can come out and pet them and feed them and all that stuff. 
I do recommend not bringing your dog though, because uh, burros and dogs do not mix. All right, you guys, let's take a look at all the cool stuff I picked up while I was out on that creek walk out there in Arizona. And I tell you what, I found some really good stuff. Also a good place to go and pick up fire agates. So if you don't have the money to go pay at a Quest of Fire Agate Mine, which I highly recommend you do, a lot of good stuff there. Um, just don't go when it's hot like I did. That was a huge mistake. But uh, yeah, that creek though, BLM land, you can go out there, you can pick up some rocks. And if you get lucky, maybe you'll find an Atari game like I did. So let's take a look and see what I got. All right, here is my Atari game. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys just exactly what game it is right here. I was able to find it online. This is Maze Craze. Um, so yeah, this is the game that I found in the wash, and I'm doing really bad at it. But uh, the idea is, is you are, can I even get out of this thing? You get this little police officer and you race the other police officer, which takes a second controller to uh, get out and when you do that's what happens you got to love the old Atari 2600 games good buddy of mine who you've seen in videos before Asa he uh, he found this out for me so super cool I don't think he'll ever play again it's kind of a bummer but you know maybe I can find a find a version of it and then here is my fire agate and other cool rocks and stuff I picked up while I was out walking that wash. I really like that one. Let's, uh, let's get this damp a little bit, see what they look like. And uh, once I get my saw going, I'll saw some pieces, I'll polish some up. I might show a couple polished pieces in a later video. And again, I'm just using my little, little water pump there to get these sprayed off. It's mostly just the calcidney, nothing too, uh, nothing too bright and shiny. But once we start cutting into it and polishing, maybe we'll have something real nice, I don't know. Said so get all that a little bit damp so it's easier to be seen. But we do have a little bit of fire going on there, not much. This piece will be beautiful once it's polished. And just look at those lines in there. That is just straight up agate. Very cool. And of course, my big old volcano lava bomb that was out there. That whole area is volcanic. And that's why you have different things like the fire agate and these crazy mineralizations that are going on in there. In fact, that is copper in there and a lot of times the copper inside of these fire agates is what gives you the beautiful look to it not too much with color but you know for free you cannot beat that with a stick well i mean you could but it'd probably just break your stick all right guys that was the creek walk for fire agates near Oatman, Arizona. Still hot, but you know what? It wasn't horrible. I've been back in the Midwest heat for a while. Perhaps, perhaps I overplayed it. But anywho, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hamilton hopes you enjoyed the video. He's still super happy I'm home. We just got back from another trip to Colorado. So he's, he's in constant sadness. But anyhow guys, as always, hope we can get a like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time we're out hunting rocks. Have a good one. Bye. Say bye, Hamilton. He already left.